Yo, what's up guys? Coming at you with some EA Sports UFC 2. Just thought I'd get back into it. You know, get the grind going. Right now we on the road to the belt, man. I'm over here. I'm Duho Choi. I think that's how you say his name. And my opponent's TJ Dillashaw. He rocks me. He rocks me early in this game. But, yeah, I thought I'd just get back on here. You may see a little bit of rust. You may not. I mean, I didn't play this game a lot to begin with. Like, when it first came out, I never played it a lot. But, now I'm kind of getting back into it because, just because, you know, 2K, 2K be, be on some bull crap. And then Madden just, Madden gives me, like, heart attacks every time I play it. So, you know. Just thought I'd hop into this because this is, a, I don't know about fun, but I guess it, it kind of, it really is for me because UFC used to be my favorite sport to watch. I didn't, I could give less about if the, who the Cowboys were playing. I was more worried about, you know, who's in the main event for the next UFC, but, you know, as I grown up, sports kind of changed. Now, I definitely like football more than UFC because UFC has become more mainstream now. I liked it when it wasn't as mainstream, to be honest. But it's good to see the sport grow. So I'm here just trying to piece up my opponent. I don't really know much about the guy I chose. I know he's a striker from like the two fights I've seen him in. And I know TJ Dillashaw's a wrestler, but he can also, he has those strikes. So I just, and here he's rocked me again with the same combination, that sidekick is just catching me. So what I need to do is I just need to, you know, stay back, attack his body. He isn't blocking his body. It's dangerous to go for the body, though, because he can just hit me with something to my head real quick. You see him doing right here, but I need to work his body because that's the only thing that's open. He's just blocking and parrying the head. And when opponent does that, you got to just attack different parts because he's just trying to parry me. So I just know D Dillashaw, I know Choi, he has some pretty fast hands. And I learned that pretty fast in this game. And I don't know about his power. I think he has a little bit of power, but I'm not sure how much. But I need to set up my body strikes and use my head strikes just to, you know, get my combinations going. I got him up against the cage. I'm definitely controlling the octagon. I have got to be aggressive because last thing I want is TJ Dillashaw chasing me down. If I got him back up against the cage, I can see his takedowns. I can see his strikes easier. Last thing I need is him in the middle like this right here. I don't need him in the middle of the cage. Free to strikes and everything. So round in. I'm pretty sure he won that round because he rocked me twice. Jumping into the second round. Trying to get some my elusive strikes going get the flying knees in and all that stuff just trying to mix it up a little bit and now this round I I'm gonna try to use head movement more instead of just blocks because head movements do work a lot better than blocks because your arms do get fatigued as you see like the more you block the more your arms get fatigued then you just won't be able to block when your arms are red so I'm trying to set up my counters, trying to set up my combos, just trying to catch this guy because his defense, I wouldn't say his defense is that good because he's just blocking the head, but he's definitely a really defensive fighter. When he gets put in a corner, he kind of just starts charging at you as I hit him with a flying knee here. And the thing about Dillashaw is that he doesn't cut easily because I hit him with some. I hit him with some strikes here, man. He isn't bleeding. Not that that really means anything in the game, but it's just nice things on the points to see your opponent bleed and all that. And I got to get my jab going, get my jabs and my straights going in this game because I believe I have the reach advantage. Like I said, I don't really remember the tell of the tape right now. I usually just skip past that. So I just got to get my range going. Got to get... All this stuff going my way. And if somebody could tell me, if you're watching this, like, what does that bar up there mean? See that little bar that's above the time limit? Like, what does that mean? Like, 
I haven't played this game in a while. This is like my first game in like since the game came out almost. So if somebody could tell me that, like I don't know what that means, but go ahead, go back into this game. Body strikes, loosen him up. That's all we need right now. Just make his stamina go lower than ours. That's the, that's basically the name of the game right here, man. And then piece him up when he does open. You see that head movement there. Oof. Oof. Oh my. Oh my. You see, this may be a post column, but I did not watch this video at all. Like, so a lot of this stuff is still a surprise to me, but I just caught him with that that straight, I believe it was. See, two jabs, yeah, and a straight. So we're in my championship game now, you guys. I'm going to come out here with Carlos Conde. I'm out here to defend my belt. And I don't care who you are, who you get, I'm going to knock you out or submit you. It's just how I'm coming at you, bro. Like, there's just nothing about it. That's just how I fight. And I don't care what character he gets. And he gets Woodley. You know, no surprise. Well, surprise is a little bit that you need the best character to beat me. But, you know, that's just how it is, man. I'm just that good. You have to get the best fighter in the division. But jumping into this fight now. Uh, this fight was a little bit boring. I kind of watched over this in the edits. Uh, well, not really boring, but the guy really tried to use the clinch on me. And, you know, it was just really cringe to watch because I didn't know how to work the the clinch. And he didn't really hit me. We didn't kind of do anything. We just kind of neutralized each other. So, if there's just going to be a random cut in the middle of this fight, it's because... It's because I'm skipping the clinch scenes. But yeah, we're coming into this fight. Guns are blazing right now. And the thing about Condit is that about every button that you push on him, something crazy is about to happen. You know, I just, I push a regular kick button and the next thing I know, he's flying in the air doing a double kick in the air. Like, come on now, dude. Like, so that's why it's kind of why I like using him and then there's a reason why I hate him hate using him because he just just so wild you just never know what he's gonna do as you see that Superman punch like I didn't know he had a Superman punch and that kick that was the kick that I'm talking about that's like just pushing L1 in uh, circle and I do that to do leg kicks and then that that kick just happened so but yeah I the reason I chose Carlos Condit is because he's my favorite fighter in the UFC. Obviously, he's retired now, but he's just definitely weird to fight against. He's really tall for the division that he's in, really lanky, so not many people know how to fight against him. As you see there, he takes me into the clinch, so I'm just going to send past that because nothing really happened. Uh, but yeah, like I was saying, like, He's just really tall and lanky. Like, nobody really knows how to fight against a uh, Condit. You have to get on the inside and fight him. And it's really hard to do when, you know, I'm throwing wild kicks and stuff. But this guy's doing a pretty good job at it. It gets me in the clinch here again. Uh, tries to get me in the tie, but I break it before he can land a knee. And this is about how the first... Round is gonna end. Just throwing a little bit of punches. He hits me with the head kick. That's about it. So coming into the second round, just gotta stop him from getting on the inside. That's about it. Tyron Woodley, he's a, basically built like a, a short tank. You know, he's five nine, really bulky, really muscly. So just can't let him get on the inside. But he's hitting me with these head kicks. I need to start blocking these kicks because he's starting to catch me with a lot of them. But the good thing about Condit is that he can definitely take a punch, and he can definitely give one. So really, just a well all-rounded guy, really, in my standpoint, because he does have submissions if you take him to the ground. So just a really, you know, well-rounded fighter. Him with the double knee, got a nice little combination here. He lunges in a spin. Ooh, that was nasty. He's done. I can't even hit him anymore. 
I'm going to play that back in slow motion for y'all. Look at this kick. Just a perfectly timed spin kick right to the dome. Just it was a perfectly timed kick right to the dome. Beautiful timing. Just Carlos Condit, the best. Just the GOAT, man. Carlos Condit, the GOAT, man. George St. Pierre freaking rigged the refs, man. He rigged the refs. Carlos Condit should have beat him for that title, man. But see you when I see you guys. Peace.